Okay. Seeing as how um, I'm slightly retarded and forgot to realize that my iPod is low on memory, but I uploaded the first part of this video to YouTube already, so I'm free to do whatever I want. Now, we left off at Vector, the close quarter, the uh, stealth covert uh, class. This is Lupo. Lupo is a basically another campy assault rifle class that I made consisting of a SCAR L with hybrid sight and silencer, uh, CM901 with hybrid sight and stability proficiency, proficiency, excuse me, uh, Claymore, portable radar, scavenger pro, overkill pro, marksman pro, with specialist strike package, perks are slate of hand pro, blast shield pro, and steady aim pro, with final stand ew as a death streak. Like I said, this is another. This is like a, another camping class that I made. Um, it really comes in handy, especially the Scar L. Oh look, Magneto's online. Huh? Yeah, I have an X Men online as a friend. Yeah, you jealous? You mad, bro? Anyway, um, yeah, this is a camping class of mine. Um, Scar L suppressed with the hybrid scope is actually pretty good. You don't necessarily need to use the uh, second setting for the site. You don't have to switch back and forth between sites, uh, depending on your preference, because you can just aim down the sites and it's like almost recoilless instantly. Like it's just amazing overall. And um, yeah, it's really good. Uh, I mean, now if you prefer to use a different type of style of play, that's up to you. Um, next up is Beltway. Beltway is my demolition slash objective uh, protection and clear skies class. It is an MK46 LMG with grip and thermal scope with KSG-12 secondary and extended magazines with damage proficiency. C4 and portable radar as equipment, blind eye pro, overkill pro, and sit rep pro. With assault strike package, UAV, um, predator missile, I almost said care package, predator missile and AH-6 overwatch with martyrdom, ew, as a death streak. Um, this class is for keeping the skies clear, LMGs coupled with blind eye pro are, are uh, air support's worst nightmare, I mean you can knock almost anything out of the sky with just like a couple bullets as long as you keep shooting at them. Um, and then the KSG-12 is there for uh, close quarters combat, that's why I have extended magazines on it. And of course the point streak system makes it to where anything you knock out of the sky goes towards your point streak, so bada bing bada boom, you see a reaper drone or something or UAV, you shoot at it, it goes towards your point streak. And it can come really, it can come in handy on like multiple occasions. It's really good and I'm glad I thought of this by myself. Um. Last but not least, we have Harley. Harley is my rushing slash, you know, uh, differentiate between locations class. You know, basic gameplay, rush, you know, camp a little bit, rush, etc. It is a G36 with holographic sight or red dot sight. The sights may vary. And hybrid sensor with PP90M1 or the PP gun, as I like to call it, with extended magazines. Yes, I have an extended PP. That's what she said. Anyway, stability proficiency and it's stabilized. Uh, <laughs> um, Semtex, uh, Semtex grenade trophy system because I don't know if you noticed, but Predator missiles love me for some odd reason and they always seem to find me. One special when I'm minding my own business. Like, there could be a triple kill and they'll just go for me. So. For those nasty situations where predator missiles coming down on my head, I love to use, break out the trophy system and block it before it kills me. It's amazing. Uh, Scavenger Pro, Overkill Pro, Aim Pro with assault rifle. Well, I mean assault rifle. Good lord. Assault strike package with five, ten, and twelve predator missile, assault drone, and AC-130. With hollow points as a death streak. Like I said, this is a this is like a you know run around the map, kill everybody type of class. And once again, like I said, the sight may vary between the on the uh, assault rifle. I don't know. G36 holographic sight is all right, but you know, um, I tend to uh, experiment a little bit. You know. All right. Now that we've got that out the way, let's go to my stats. Go to leaderboard score. Um. 
Overall time I've invested in this game, I have, I don't know if you can see that, 13 days, 4 hours, 44 minutes, because I, like I said, I started playing, I don't know if you noticed, but I started playing this game the minute it came out, back in November, and then when I hit winter break, I played it hardcore over winter, the winter break and to reach 10th prestige before I went back to school for the spring semester, and lo and behold, there I am, the Black Oni. Uh... My rank is the top 8,000 in the leaderboards for a score. Um, wins. My win-loss ratio is a 1.16 because I always get paired with the bad kids for some odd reason, but that's okay. I have a 43 win streak. I have 1,766, I mean 67 wins, 1,519 losses. Um, now we have kills. My KD ratio is, for the Black Oni, it is a 1.36. And uh, climbing, I have 51,721 kills, 57,997 deaths. Which is good because I, it just shows that I do get more kills than deaths on a time with a streak of 24 and an average kills of 51 kills. Uh, now, last but not least, accuracy. Uh, for me, my accuracy is... I kind of suck when shooting, so... But my accuracy did increase because it was 19 point something, now it's 20.16. I have 140,526 hits and 556,370 misses. So, I like to spray and pray. So, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, my TDM kill death ratio is a 1.41. I have 26,361 kills, 18,627 deaths, and I guess domination. I have 1,328 captures, 742 defense, and 10,227 kills. So yeah, that's uh, those are my those are my stats right there in the corner. And then there's my name and of course my title, the Black Oni with Overkill and attachments. My er, <laughs> my recent prestiges in uh, other Call of Duty game. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Now that you've seen my classes, next up is the flawless gameplay where I went 25 and 0 on Village. I'll have that posted up sometime today or tomorrow. Thank you for watching and peace.